In the last episode, we enjoyed some of our favorite bays with our friends and went fishing and saw more whales and bears. Once we arrived in Sitka, we said goodbye to our friends and jumped right into our list of repairs. Aftermath. Whoever worked on this tank last, last uh, ended up <laughs> putting some sort of weird silicone on there and with the heat the last couple days and then we filled the tank it popped the seal off actually I think the seal was popped off for a little bit because I've been smelling fuel but it has a screw down screw down board that goes on top of that so I couldn't see it and there was no leak so anyways we got to the fuel dock today in Zitka and um, filled up the tank anyways I uh, used out a pump out and now we've got to clean everything and put it all back together. I love the fireweed, it's so pretty. The harbor just got down with our showers. Got some of our mail. Some of our Amazon packages. Yay, Amazon. <sighs> for the mold since we have a nice hot sunny day in Zitka Harbor Austin's working out in the labs I'm reading up on the generator manual so I can change the oils we're gonna do the generator oil change engine oil change and clean both of the C filters which are there and there. Trying to sort out the tools. Every time we do a repair project we get stuck trying to look for tools to go to each part. And do a little work on this toilet and then we'll do some more work on our other toilet. We'll take these so that they stay out of our way, which is helpful. It seemed like the gasket was going bad in between here, so we put a little life seal on there because we can't get apart for a while. And that's the only place it seems to be leaking now that we've pulled the baby wipe out of the motor. So anyways, I guess um, the closest place we can get parts is in Seattle, but uh, we haven't been able to get a hold of anyone yet, so I'm still working on it. And now it's time for cleanup while we're waiting for everything to seal, and then we'll work on the other toilet tomorrow. The appliance man's been called. He'll be here tomorrow at 10. Hopefully he can help us with our dryer so we can get the heat sensor fixed, and um, then we'll go from there. Feels awesome. Dad's te teaching Elise how to drive the dinghy. Doesn't want to drive the car, but she'll drive the dinghy. <laughs>
every now and then something goes right. Yeah. nicer to have those screw down. So I better find three. Here, try this. No, it's too small. Too small? Now that it's relaxing. Kick him back. We got the dogs. Sunday afternoon, we had church. Oh, puppies are happy watching the boats come in the harbor. is bustling. It's like 10.35 at night. Actually, we've had lots of boats coming and going. Harbor's actually pretty empty right now. Kings are running again, so people are out fishing and they are happy, happy, happy. So, we're working on toilets and toilet number two to be repaired. Probably haul this thing out as soon as the rain stops. Number two, it's bolted. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, got to stick my hand through there with a ratchet or an open-ended wrench to get the toilet off. Yay! Is for our bathroom. We couldn't find a macerator. The macerator was toasted, and in order to get a new macerator with COVID going on, we might have to wait like another four to eight weeks they didn't really know and possibly four months because they had still hadn't received parts in four months so they had a spare toilet so we just went with the spare toilet and decided to just replace it so uh, when we get the spare macerator it's gonna go in the guest head um, the shower was leaking so we have a repexed it well actually it wasn't pexed at all so we have replumbed it or rather Austin has replumbed it and we've done some contortionist plumbing which was really exciting so one person in one cabinet and the other person in the other cabinet which by the way these are super close together so it was like doing ballerina moves yep and of course Austin broke his toe for the second time uh, this week. So anyways, trying to do that while not stepping on his feet was fun. And then we're going to plumb that in. Um, so we have running water. Austin's got his uh, 
predict wind getting down. No, low. Navionics. Or Navionics. Update. Milo's happy because he's got bushes to sniff and Patrick's Here, see? is in love Check with Check this out. <clears throat> see, I got. Oh, yeah. It's flying. Speedy. Trying to find out the best internet spot. I guess further away from McDonald's is better. Closer. So Austin's giving a leave a hard time. He got higher up on the table. For better download speed. <laughs> so. Okay, now they're hovering. They're hovering for the last little bit of internet. I think guys, we are in desperate need of a hot spot better Wi-Fi. Yeah. Trying to make it affordable. Oh my goodness. Yes, they both said we're ready. Started walking back to the boat. And as soon as we get to the edge of the parking lot, there they are. Huddling together. One more second. One more minute. We gotta have our Wi-Fi. Oh, my stars. What is happening, guys? Really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. We don't have an internet desire. Or internet problem. No. Yes. Even the dogs are ready. They're like, let's go. It's okay, it's August 13th, and this is the 14th day we haven't had people on our boat. So, we've been sitting at the dock in Sitka and getting stuff done. Um, we had two toilets that we needed to fix. Uh, the fuel tanks, um, one of the seals broke when we were fueling it, so we had to clean up a fuel leak. Um, we had to change all the oils. Uh, yeah, what else did we do? Oh, we replaced the kitchen faucet back there. Um, lots of ordering parts. Uh, it seems like it's difficult to get anything <laughs> right away, so you have to order parts. So we've got some some parts that are in at LFS in Sitka and just got a bunch of stuff and hopefully we'll be finishing up soon. In the next episode, after getting more parts, we continue to work on our repairs priming and painting, electrical work, new toilet installed, fixing our autopilot, and working hard to get the boat ready for our next guests.